Hello everybody, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodělky. Uh, today is day seven and we will be starting a cable, uh, cable pattern. Uh, as you see, I am finished with my six rows of my daily sky. I also wanted to go and show you that I am making a little knot. Hold on one second, I'm standing outside over here. Uh, so uh, I'm making a knot uh, on, when I finish my row, okay? So this is my knot of my finished row yesterday. And today it's gonna be my beginning of the row. So I don't have to really worry about looking where I, uh, you know, where I have to go and start. So that's my tip for you and I will go inside and we will start knitting and as you see today is a hazy white sky so again we will be working with white color and also I wanted to say that we will be inserting markers in this row okay we will be starting uh, separating our repeats. Yeah. I finished here last night and this is where I will be starting, okay? And uh, also I wanted to point out my knots that I am, you know, uh, tying together two and two uh, strings. So these two are gonna be tied next. And my uh, next string is gonna be alone until I do the day after that, okay? And over here you can see that I already have tied strings, all of them. And I usually tiny bit tighten up these stitches so they don't get loo too loose. Uh, so I decided to start with English style, okay? And again, what I will do is I will approximately measure um, seven inches. So I will knit five first stitches, okay? This is going to be a little bit uh, difficult in the beginning, but that's okay. Let me see how long is this string. Just check that it's not too short. It's always better to cut at the end, you know, make them nice and uh, all straight. This one we will untie a little bit later. So let's knit uh, four more stitches, okay? Four more stitches, that's two, three. I have to get into groove with this here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we will place our first marker. And now we will start our pattern. Our first repeat. I want you to purl four stitches. Okay, so yarn forward and I always get this confused because I'm used to knitting continental style. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. So after you purl your four stitches, we will start working on the, on the cable. And as you see, I have two needles in here. Okay, and um, I'm not really sure which one I will use. I will start using uh, my short needle. I use, oh, I like to use short needles for cables sometimes. And then I will try to use this one and then work with whichever uh, way, whichever one feels better for me, okay? So let's go and start with this one. So we can go and put our first two stitches on the um, on the cable needle or, you know, short uh, knitting needle, double pointed needle. And the very first cable needs to be um, right slanted. Uh, to the right, okay, so it's going to be going in this way. So what needs to be done is that these two need to go across in order to be slanted. So this one needs to be in the back, okay? So right slanted, if it's right slanted, the second pair of the cable needs to be in the front, okay? 
and they tell us that we're supposed to knit these two stitches. So we will knit these two stitches. Or the designer of this um, of this pattern is just absolutely beautiful pattern. Okay, so we need to knit these two stitches, and they also tell us that we need to knit the next two stitches because there will be cable where we will be also purling instead of knitting or you know half purled and half uh, knit. Oops, we need to. We, yes, do we have the yarn in the proper position? Yes, we do. Okay, so we will just knit next two stitches and you will see immediately that it is right, leaning right. Okay, these two stitches are right leaning. They're going in that direction. Okay, our next cable we will go and do immediately next cable and that is supposed to be left leaning. So left leaning means that the, the, the front stitches need to be leaning left. So it's going to be these two, okay? So we need to have these two in the front, here in the front. And what we need to do is we need to first knit back uh, stitches okay so we will knit these two stitches one and two and now we will knit these two stitches okay I'm not used to uh, knitting um, English and cable <laughs> at the same time <laughs> so bear you know bear this with me okay and so uh okay so this one is leaning that way this one is leaning that way perfect and we need to purl okay not not continental english and we need to purl four stitches okay so let's go and purl purl one this is much easier purl two Purl three and purl four. Okay, and we will put marker because that's our 16 stitches. Okay, here we have marker and we will go and do another repeat and I'm gonna switch my hands. <laughs> this is our second repeat and we will do exactly the same thing, right? So we will purl four, one, two, three, four. Now we will be working with cable. Okay, and let's go and try the other needle. Let's try this one, okay? So we will, uh, we will put these two on our cable needle, all right? And we need to have this cable uh, right right slanted okay so we will go and put this cable needle in the back oops okay very good and we will knit these two uh, stitches okay now we will finish our cable so we will knit these two okay and i'm splicing my dark one no no Okay, so one and two. Okay, now we will be working on a second cable. Okay, so let's go and put the, this on again. And this is one and two. Let me see. Okay, we will be with the long one now. Good, pointing the right way. Okay, so now we will be knitting our... Uh, these two in the back and this is going to be leaning left okay so we will knit uh, uh, two stitches on this needle and now we will need to go and knit two stitches on this needle okay and that will be left leaning okay one 
and two. And let's go get that dark one out of our way. Okay, there. Now we will now we will knit, no, we will purl, we will purl four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we will put our uh, another marker in here. Okay, and another repeat. This is our third repeat. I'll do it one more time, and I will do it with my uh, regu regular double pointed needle. So again, we need to do purl four, one, two, three, four. Now we need to do a uh, cable that is uh, slanted to the right. So we need to have these two stitches in the back. Okay. And now we will knit these two stitches, one and two. And then we will knit next two stitches that we put on the on the holder, okay, one and two. Now we need to do our next cable that is slanted left, and that means that our first two stitches that we take off, they need to be in the front. So we will knit two next stitches that are on the needle, not on the holder, one and two, okay. And now we will knit these stitches and they will be, let me just pull this over up a little bit. Okay, and we will knit, knit and knit. Okay, and now we need to purl four stitches. So purl four stitches to finish the repeat. Three and four and marker. Okay, so now I showed you uh, three repeats. I'm gonna go and start knitting my, I mean purling. Did I do purl? Yeah, purling one, two, three, and four. I don't want just that marker to come, you know, get off my needle. Okay, so you see I did three repeats over here. This is my fourth repeat that I'm starting. And I will continue like this all the way to the end, except I should stop. I should stop at my last five stitches. Okay, when I finish, when I put my last marker, I should have the last marker right here. Okay, right here. And this is going to be my edge. Okay, so just continue with the 16 repeats all the way to your last five stitches and then you will knit them. I will knit these last five stitches, okay? I won't do anything else but knit. And I will knit on both sides, my edges, okay? So here is my edge. Let me see, it's closer. Let me just pull this up here. Okay, here. So this is my edge that is going to be always knitted, all these stitches, and this is my edge that is going to be always knitted, these five stitches, okay? All right, today is uh, row eight, and day eight and also, okay? And I forgot to cut my uh, yarn yesterday, but it looks like uh, today is another milky sky, so I will just, Kind of fold it in half over here okay leave a little bit extra just just in case all right and start my white yarn row because like I said it is a uh, milky sky day today okay and in today's row today is very very easy we will knit our edges on both sides okay we will knit this, these five stitches and these five stitches. 
and we will purl the rest. Let me just make sure that I don't, I didn't make it any shorter, okay? Because I would be missing the length for my for my fringe, and I don't want to do that. So we will just knit first five stitches, or in other words, let's go and knit our edge. And you may have, you know, more stitches for your edge or less stitches for your edge. I don't know, it, you know, you can go and do it whichever you want, whatever pleases your eye, okay? So I am knitting these stitches. And now I will purl all the stitches, just purl all of them, okay? Purl every single stitch. All 16 and then repeat again, right? So they want us to purl. In each sex section, in each repeat, purl 16 stitches. So I, when I'm finished purling my 16 stitches, then I will purl another 16 stitches. And let me show it to you also in English style. So with the yarn in front, we will just purl our stitches, okay? All right, um, I should have uh, my, you know, this yarn should be on the other side, but uh, I was lazy to move my ball, <laughs> yarn ball, okay. So, uh, yeah, keep knitting, uh, or I mean, uh, uh, keep knitting pearl, pearl stitches or purling, okay. And when you get to the end, to your last five stitches, knit those last five stitches. In other words, knit your second edge at the end of this row. Today is day nine, okay? As, and as you see, I didn't cut my uh, yarn from yesterday. So this is where I will start today's yarn. And Today's sky was um, was a little cloudy, okay. I have to go and see that I have my gray yarn long enough. So the sky was uh, slightly cloudy on beautiful blue sky, so I'm using light color, okay. And we will start knitting our edge, okay. So we will do knit five. And I will show you first two, uh, first two repeats in continental style, and then I will show you the third repeat in English style, okay? Very good. So our first repeat is going to be like this, and all the other repeats as well, okay? So we need to purl two, one, and two. Now we will make cable with these four stitches and I need a right slanted, slanted cable. So we will go and put our uh, two stitches on a needle or cable needle and placed in the back. Okay, and we need to, and we need to knit next two stitches. So knit and knit. And now from the cable needle we need to purl these stitches, not knit, purl, okay? So we will purl and purl. Okay, so that's our first cable and we will make one, another one, but first before we work on another cable, we need to knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. 
Now we need to do left slanted cable. If it's going to be left slanted, we will go and leave these two stitches that we placed on the needle in the front. Okay, and we need to purl first two stitches from uh, our needle. Okay, so one and two purl. Now we need to knit. You can also place them back if you want, like this. Look, okay, you can place them back. And then you can knit them. So you can knit and knit. Okay. So in the first cable, we did knit, knit, and then we purl, purl. Okay. And over here, we did the opposite. We did purl, purl, and knit, knit. And now we will purl next two stitches. And that completes our first repeat okay look we can already start seeing the pattern here a little bit this is so exciting okay very good so let me go and show it to you again purl purl take two stitches off place them on the needle now we need two Oops, I almost lost my stitch. Now we need to knit two stitches. So knit and knit. And now we will purl. And again, if you have hard time uh, knitting from the uh, cable needle, then you can place them back. Okay. And now we will purl. Purl and purl. Now we will knit four stitches. Knit, 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 and knit. Okay, we will make another cable, left leaning. So we need to take these two stitches down. We need to purl these two stitches. Okay, we need to purl purl and purl and now the next two stitches from cable needle will be knitted so we will knit these two stitches knit and knit and now we will purl two stitches purl and purl Okay, so let's go and work now with English style, which is going to be challenging for me, okay? So we will do purl and purl, okay? Now we will need to do knit stitch, so I'm going to put it in the back. And we need to place these two stitches on our holder okay in the back and we need to knit these two stitches right so we will knit and we will knit Okay, let's go and place them on my needle. It's going to be easier for me to deal with pearl stitch uh, in English style. Okay. And we need to pearl these two stitches. So yarn forward, not to forget. Okay, pearl. And pearl. Now we need to knit four stitches, knit, 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 how many did I do? Three, and this is four. Excellent. 
Now we need to go and we will be purling. So I'll place my yarn forward already. Okay, and we will take these two stitches down. Okay. And we will purl. We will purl next two stitches with these stitches in front. So purl and purl. Now we need to knit them, so put yarn back. Okay, put these uh, put these um, stitches. <laughs> uh, I'm so concentrating on my knitting and uh, thinking uh, about English knitting. <laughs> okay, put them back on a needle. Okay, and knit them. Knit and knit. And now we need to purl last two stitches. Okay. And purl and purl. All right. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> okay. And um, so what I will do, I will continue with all my repeats and then my last, again, my last five stitches I will knit. All right. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be easier. All right, so today is day 10, uh, which means also row 10. And I have to tell you something. I went um, to visit my uh, father-in-law yesterday. And um, after I videotaped uh, row 9, and I started working on my, on, on this pattern, right? And when I got to a position somewhere at the end of the row, I noticed that something was very wrong. And I found out that not only I cast it on 10 extra stitches, so I'm really working with uh, 356 stitches, I think, instead of 346. Uh, but also in my first row of the cable, which was actually row seven, I made a mistake in uh, in creating the uh, uh, my uh, section of 16 stitches. I didn't have section of 16 stitches. I had section of, I don't know, 12 stitches or something like that. And I did not notice that. I didn't notice it because when I was working on row eight, I had to just purl all the stitches. So I really discovered this mistake in row nine at the end of my row. So last night I took all three rows out and I had to redo my counting, okay? Not only my counting, but also uh, re-knit and re-purl and re-cable everything. So now I am in a uh, proper position, but my edge is different. Instead of five stitches, I have 10 stitches because I have 10 extra stitches. So my edge is going to be from now on always 10 knit stitches on both sides, okay? So that's the story of my life, all right? So um, basically you do your edges as you want. I will have to have 10, you know, 10 stitches on the edge now instead of five. But this is going to go and continue be the same, all right? I did not have to retape anything, but I just wanted to let you know that my edge right now is being changed to 10 stitches. I hope that makes sense, okay? So I'm going to go and knit my 10 stitches. And uh, again, today is uh, a beautiful sky with some clouds to it. So uh, I am using light gray color. And because this is our 10th row, it's going to be a little easier, no cables in this row. And we will purl four stitches, one, two, three, four, 
Now we will knit two stitches. One, two. Now we will purl four stitches again. One, two, three, four. We will knit two stitches. One, two. And we will purl four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that is our first repeat. Okay, now I will show it to you one more time in continental style, and then I will show it to you again in, in English. Okay, so we will purl four. One, two, three, four. We will knit two. One, two. We will purl four. One, two, three, four. We will knit two. One, two. And we will purl four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, in English style, we will again purl four. One, two, three, four. Now we will knit two, one and two. I keep forgetting sometimes to um, move my yarn back and forth. So I have to pay extra attention to that one. So we're purling four, purl four, that's one, two, three, four. Now we will knit two again, yarn back for knitting. So one, two, and now we will purl four. So yarn in front for purling. One, two, three, four. Okay. And so that's what I will do all the way to the end, except that the last 10 stitches of my edge right here are going to be knitted. Okay. So my edge is going to be really wide, but that's okay. Um, it's still going to look really beautiful because of all those cables in between. Okay, so now I have those 10 stitches in here for my edge and 10 stitches over here. So, okay, so just continue like this all the way to the end and then you just knit your edge. Your edge is going to be probably different, okay? I made a big boo-boo and I have to pay for it. Um, I decided that I will finish editing this video to today and hopefully post it on tomorrow, okay? So we will go and uh, have uh, four rows in this video. And then I will continue with, um, you know, making another video. So you can go and keep um, knitting, right? And uh, so for today, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much to all of you who are following me and who are knitting along. This is just going to be absolutely beautiful. Uh, scarf. I know it. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in another video. All right. Have a great day.